Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Martin, and I'll be host for this video series about automation in Azure using PowerShell. In this part, we'll be having a look at creating a resource group in Azure using the PowerShell module we installed last time. So let's just jump into it and find out how we can actually do this. So normally when I actually do automation work uh, using PowerShell, I'm using get help a lot, so I'll be using that now as well. So let's use get help. Let's type resource group, because that's what we want to do, and see if we find any results. And we did. So you see here, it's on the, the PowerShell module called AC resources. And there's new AC resource group deployment, uh, saving, removing. And probably this is the one I'm going to be using. New AC resource group. Sounds like someone, something I can use. So I'm just coming, going to copy the name now, using get help again. Paste in the command, do examples. So let's see what we have on examples here. So example number one, new AC resource group name RT01 location South Central US. That sounds easy enough. Let's just copy this and create a new file. Actually, let's create a folder here because I expect to convert all our commands into functions. So, creating a folder called functions and creating a file on that that's called new AC what, Azure Demo Resource Group PS1. Let's paste it in. This is the command. So, the name is kind of something we specify ourselves but the location is not something we can just specify ourselves or it is but we need to figure out what the valid input it is so south central us uh, and since i'm based in europe that's not something <laughs> i can use but i'm pretty sure i can find a location that fits me a bit better so let's use get help again and let's put in location So here we have get locations, and that's something native to PowerShell, so that's not what I'm going to need. Get AC location. That's probably something I can use. Let's get help again. AC location. Let's do examples again. Okay, so example one, guess all locations in the supported resource provides. So we just actually need to run it. Let's see what that returns. returns a lot of locations here and we have three different uh, fields for each one so I'm only interested in the actual location name so I'm going to do the select location just to minimize the list a bit there we go so we have locations and all the locations needed here I'm based in Denmark so I'm going to use West Europe which is in Amsterdam so we can paste that in here instead And as I mentioned in the first section, we're going to be using free resource groups. Actually, maybe I should just show you what that is. Let's open PowerPoint again here. Go to the latest. Let's go down here. So resource groups, we have networking, storage, and environment. These are the three I want to create in this uh, part. So let's be writing them in. Let's close that one. So networking is the first one. Let's cut that two times. So next was storage. The last one to call environment. So in this part, I think I'm going to call our environment Azure Demo. We need to put something more in here, I think. I should there and then test lab. Let's just call it test lab. 
think I'm gonna put the Azure demo in front of everything here. So if I create another environment there, I can separate it out. Azure demo. All right. So this should actually be enough to create our three resource groups. But before we can actually run anything, we need to log on to Azure because right now I'm just having my local machine, no connections up to Azure whatsoever. So let's do a get help again. And probably something would log in. What is that? Yeah. Login AC account. Unlike the other times, get help, get AC account, dash examples. There's a lot of examples on this one. I'm just trying to find the most simple one to start with. So that's connect AC account and nothing else. Let's see what that does. We get into some of the more advanced stuff later on, I think. So connect AC account, hit enter. So you can need to go to paste and I'll need to paste this code in. So let's try and do that. Paste in the code. Yeah. Continue on. I'll be using this account. It says I'm not in there, so let's return here. And it we are. Great. So now I should actually be able to run this code up in the top. But before we do, let's actually go to the Azure portal just to see what I have in there already. And actually it should be quite empty. And it is. So on the whole resource, we don't have anything in there. So no resource groups, no nothing. That's good. So running this is just hitting the fire. Let's see how it goes. So it says succeeded on all three. Let's see if that was correct. It was. So all three resource groups was, was created as expected. So that's good. Now, I did put this file on the functions, but there's really not much function about it, right? It's just three commands running. So let's do a function here. The way I did this was just type function. Let's actually just delete it again. This will make it a bit fun. So I'm writing function here. And you see function snippet, advanced, inline, and function. So I'm just going to take advanced here, actually, instead of the one I have. Oh, that's a bit too much. So let's call it what we call the, the file of new, ace, sure, demo resource group and parameters we need in here. We need a name. We need a location as well, right? So there's the only two things we're gonna need in here. And on the process, we need to be creating new ones. So new AC resource group. Take them there. So we're gonna name, it's called name, location is location. All right. So now if we're actually gonna be writing this, Since we have a function now, we can actually see new AC. Or I should demo. I should name. Azure demo. Oops. Networking. Location. Where's your? This is actually not doing anything different from what we had, but because I want to be doing something with a JSON file in a bit, this is something we, we could use to do it in more, uh, more easy, I think. Um, yeah. 
be able to create one again, we need to be going in here and just deleting the groups. Let's delete this one. Take the next one as well. And actually, no, let's not do it like this. Let's do it the automated way. So let's create a new file, set. Let's call it this. What do we have? Maker demo cleanup. That PS1. Because every time I'm, I'm going to be doing any automation and, and completing a part of this video share, someone to be cleaning up the entire environment because the subscription is pay as you go and it's on my own account. So I don't want anything running in Azure that I don't really need. So let's find a command that actually removes stuff as well. So get help. Let's do the resource group again. And yes, we have the remove AC resource group as well. Let's cover that one in. We probably only need a name this time. So Azure demo dot of that storage. Let's copy that. Put that in. We call it test lab, right? Let's run. I'm probably will ask me something, so let's do it as force and hit run. See if that works. It's doing something, but it's not coming out any error, so hopefully it's just working. Let's go here and try to refresh. So the first one I deleted is gone, and hopefully it's working on the other two. While we're actually doing that, I'm on, I think I'm gonna remove this function again, because the only thing we actually gain from this is the exact same thing as we had before. Let's keep it like this for now. Let's do something more exciting next time. Oh, it's running through. So something should be deleted in here now. Yeah, something is. So it's working on the last one now, I'm guessing. Let's just put in the networking as well, because I'm, I will be creating these again. Now we should have something for creating them and something for removing them as well. This should be a general part of every series uh, or every video I'm going to do in this video series. Let's see, is it deleted? Yeah. So we're down to zero items again on my resource group. And it's done as well. I think I'll be cutting this uh, video down now and next time we'll be having a look at how we can do all this more dynamically. So doing something with input parameters and actually leveraging the, the new AC resource group command in a bit different way and converting it to a function that we can actually use uh, in an automated way. Before I shut it down I want to do a commit. So we edit code to create and remove resource groups. I don't want to save them. I want to do the commit. I'm going to do the push. There we go. So now you should all be able to see this one. And next time we'll be changing out from working in, in the master repository to doing a branch on the GitHub. So we, this code will be there until we do a merge into the master request for again. Until next time, hope you'll be joining me again. Bye.